This is an introduction between a neutered female and a neutered male. They've never seen each other before and this is a totally neutral environment for them. And they're doing the usual thing. They've only been in this about 30 seconds so they're doing the usual scent marking and exploring. And I may have to abandon this filming if they start to interact strongly. But we'll see how we go. Mildred has just lost her sister as she was put to sleep due to severe dental disease. And this little chap, we've tried to match with a neutered female but didn't succeed. So we're going to try again. I'm hoping he's met his match with Mildred. Mildred and Merlin. Hmm. Sounds quite good actually. Oops. See if the personalities get on as well as the names. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Marlon doing lots of scent marking there. Mildred's gone off in a half. Interestingly, Merlin didn't follow and be spiteful, which he has been in the past. Yeah. Here's Mildred coming out again just to see if her worst nightmare is still around. She's obviously not used to uh, different levels. Yeah, she's having none of it at the moment. But this is absolutely normal. So far, so good nothing abnormal in this behaviour at all. You do expect a little bit of fur to fly when you're introducing rabbits but it depends on the extent of the uh, interaction let's say. What obviously you don't want is either rabbit to be injured. I say the odd bit of fur flying and the odd scuffle is absolutely normal. Mounting behaviour likewise. Well, Merlin and Mildred have been in together now for about half an hour, I suppose. Um, at the moment, Mildred is holed up in the sleeping area um, and refuses to come out. And Merlin is uh, prancing about like the winner. There you are, aren't you? Cheeky little devil. But they've not had a fight or anything, it's just Mildred feels a bit intimidated by Merlin's very forward behaviour. And she feels she'd rather just sit in there. I've given her some veggies and things so she can nibble on that in her hay. She's not distressed in any way, but this is not unusual with a match-up. You'll often get one bunny who will uh, take off into the sleeping area just to withdraw from the scene. And sometimes they can be in there for a day or so, in which case, if you've got a match-up like that, make sure you support the rabbit that's gone in there with food and water and things if they feel reluctant to come out. And you normally find within a day or so they start to venture out. And then things progress from there. But I'm very pleased so far that Merlin hasn't actually attacked her or anything like that at all. So this is looking quite positive. It's one of the reasons I actually tried them together because she's so big. I was hoping he would maybe think twice about pushing her around. He's such a show-off, isn't he? Well, we'll just have to see how they go. Well, this is uh, first thing in the morning of this pair. Uh, quite an eventful night, really. I kept coming out with a torch and checking on them. 
because Merlin kept chasing her. I think he's actually quite happy to try and be friends. I mean, we can see here he's he's quite calm with her. She's still freaking out a little bit with him, but it's actually starting to go quite well. I caught them just earlier sitting side by side on the little stool, so it's, it's looking quite good. To bear in mind, this is, what, nine o'clock in the morning, and we only put them together about five o'clock yesterday, so this is looking very promising. Boy. Yeah. As you can see um, the big girl's a lot more relaxed now. <laughs> I said that she just turned her back on me. <laughs> Merlin is deciding to rock himself out of the pen. Where are you going? Yeah, she's a lot more relaxed this morning. I think this is going to work, actually, this pairing. An inspired choice, if I may say so. Well, we've got a success story here. We're into the beginning of day five, and Mildred and Merlin are the best of buddies, as you can see. Really happy together. It's rare you see them apart, and it's worked very, very well. I'm absolutely delighted. So, if there's anybody out there who would like to adopt this pair, we're certainly not going to go too far wrong. You've got two very different looking rabbits, um, but two personalities that have just clicked. And it just shows breed or colour or anything like that just doesn't matter for matchups. The most important thing is to get the personalities right. Anything else really doesn't matter. Obviously age, I suppose you could argue you don't want to match a very old rabbit with a very young one because you're going to end up having to match again and that's a fair point. But I think you need to be a bit flexible when choosing a matchup. And I'm pleased for both of these. Mildred obviously lost her sister and she seems quite happy and content again now, so, yeah, good news. And this is certainly proof to show that rabbits should live in compatible pairs. They're just so much happier.